Alright, let's get started. First off, we're going to do the Magician's Reveal. What you need is a box, a bow, and some paper. Measure the paper so that it fits the top of the box and the four sides. Next, you want to measure paper to cover the bottom half of the box, and you just need a very small overlap of paper for this part. Once you have the sizing right, tape the bottom half of the paper to the box. Now moving on to the top half of the box, then tape the sides together, being sure not to tape it to the box, and you want it to be just a little bit loose. The whole purpose of this is so that it is easy for the person to pull the top of the paper off the box. Now the last step is to put on a bow. If the person you're gifting this for has vision problems, you want to make sure it's a high contrast bow. So the magicians reveal that you just grab the bow and they pull it off. Next up we have the candy wrapper method. This is perfect for gifts that don't come in boxes. Take your paper fold it in half and cut it into two equal parts. Overlap those two parts and you want a generous overlap of three or four inches. It kind of depends on the size of the gift. And then you're going to take your filler paper and scrunch up the filler paper into two separate balls of equal size. I recommend a ball that's slightly bigger than the gift that you're giving. Next, put the gift in between the two balls of stuffing and then wrap it up in the paper. Take your ribbon and cut off generous strips. Uh, then curl them. You can either curl them before you tie it or after. Honestly, I think it's easier to curl it after you tie it, so maybe don't do what I'm doing right now. Take one end of the wrapper and twist it. then tie the ribbon around it. Make a very secure knot. We don't want it to slip off the end. Then do this for both sides. Then when you give the gift to the person, they just have to grab both sides and pull apart. And then it reveals on the inside the gift. Next up, we have the twin bows method, which is very similar to the previous one, but in this one, you need a box and two bows. Just like the previous one, we're going to be working with two equal size pieces of paper. So put the box on top, have a slight overlap between the two pieces of paper, and then you're going to wrap this almost like a normal gift, but you're going to tape the paper to itself and do not tape the paper to the box. Also, when you're taping the paper to itself, don't make it too tight. Have a little bit of slack, because the whole point is so that the person can pull it apart easily. Once you're done wrapping one half, wrap the other half. And remember, we're not taping the two halves together. They remain separate. Next, we're going to take two bows and attach them to the ends of the box. You want to size the bows so that they're the right size for the person to grab and hold on to. And then when the person opens the gift, they just pull the two halves apart, and there you go. The fourth method is the easy open box. You need some sort of box and a very big bow. In this case, I decided to use a tissue box, um, but you can use a pre-made box as long as the lid comes off easily. If cutting your own box like I am, cut along three sides, keeping one side of the top attached. Next, take some ribbon, make a loop on one side, and tape it to the opening on the front. Wrap the ribbon around, taping as you go, and then leave a tail at the end. We're going to loop that tail into the front. 
In essence, what we're making is a latch mechanism that keeps the box closed. And what I'm showing you here is the bare bones of the decorating process. You can certainly wrap the box as long as you wrap the lid separate from the bottom. The last step is to secure a bow to the top. Now, if the gift is lightweight, you'll probably have to hold the box in place while your person uses their hand to swipe across the bow in order to open the box. This final method is probably the one we're all the most familiar with. It just requires a gift bag. This really only works with lightweight gifts. Do the same as you would for any gift box. Stuff it with tissue paper, then tie a ribbon on the gift. And put the gift in the middle of the bag. And to make it prettier, you can curl the ribbon. And that gives you five different ways that you can wrap gifts for someone with physical limitations, whether that's due to a stroke or cerebral palsy. If you have another method or an improvement to mine, please leave a comment below. I sincerely appreciate the feedback. Thanks guys. Enjoy.